and welcome back to Rags to Riches. I'm Rowan and today's video is a charity shop haul. We haven't had one in such a long time and I'm so excited to show you. Uh, the reason why we haven't had one in such a long time is because, well, we've been busy. Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, with November and December, over time at my job, the light is going again. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my job, November and December, is just like overtime, overtime, overtime. And also it's like, I was so last minute with buying Christmas presents this year, last year. It was so unreal. Um, so I didn't really have much time to nip into a charity shop here and there. I just did not have the time um, to do that. So we are back at it this January, charity shopping. Um, and I'm ready to show you what I have got. Um, I don't even know what to say. Oh. Well, this before it, this is a charity shop item. This is something I have bought from the actual shop on sale for three pound. It was meant to be eight pound. It was a top for my partner. It's a lilac shirt. He isn't bothered about the colour, so don't. Mm, it's the colour. It's just massive. It's so huge. Um, I ordered a medium. I don't even know if it's like a mucho size. I don't even know. Oh, it's supposed to be a casual shirt in a medium and honestly i think you could have done with an extra small it's just so big it's just it's huge um but it's definitely the wrong size seriously such a bad size so yeah i bought that for three pound and i thought you know what i could actually probably get the entire eight pound for that if i sold that on ebay so yeah he tried it on and it was just so big it was like me trying on his shirt, so it just looked massive. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, charity shop items. Uh, where did we go? We went to York. Um, we went to the British Heart Foundation. I'm not keen on the British Heart Foundation, but there isn't many charity shops in the centre of York. Um, so this is a, a coast top in a size 8. It's 4 I can't make... I think I'm going to have to button this up. Is this even buttoned up? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll just button up the last one so that it might be a bit better if I'm doing it. Okay, it's a top. You like, it's a, like a navy blue crop top style. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, I got this at 4 99 The back's really nice as well, actually. Um, like a low back. So yeah, with some really nice pretty detail. That needs to get listed, ready for the wedding and races. I would probably suggest on that one. Um, I, I did have one like this in a larger size, and I probably picked it up for about two, or I think I might have picked it up for three pounds. It was in like a, was it a pink? Pinky creamy colour. I can't really remember which one. Um, yeah, and I made about 20, I sold it for 24 99 So 24 99 on that one, I think. My hair looks wet, it looks greasy. It's not. <laughs> Uh, my mum bought this for herself for, oh my gosh, £5.49. She tried it on, it didn't fit right. It's like a crop top jumper? Yeah, definitely a crop top jumper, I'd say. What did I say? Oh no, it's a jumper. Um, Yeah, it kind of looks Bowden um, jewels type of jumper. I'm really not showing this in the best light. Um, yeah, she spent quite a bit on that, actually. Yeah, it didn't fit her. Um, she bought that for herself. It, it just wasn't right. It's so soft. It's a Zara one. So, yeah, that was from the same shop in York. And I might try and push a 14 99 on this. I think if I photograph it in the right way, I could get that. Um, okay, this was from the Sneaky Tabs. Jaylee? Jaylee? Jaylee Collection. Never heard of it. This belongs belong to my mum and it's inside out. Okay. I think it's a poncho. The spur. It'll be faux fur. Please be faux fur. I don't want to. I don't want people to hate me. Please. 
oh gosh, it's real fur. Uh, polyester and elastic, but it's really soft. So yeah, it's a it's a poncho. So I think by this by next Christmas, oh, there's a foundation mark on it, mother. <sighs> Does the fur even come off? No, the fur doesn't come off. I'm going to have to try and get that out. It's the only thing with like cream things and makeup. I'm going to get it all over. Okay. I don't really know how much I'm going to sell that for. Um, I've never really come across that brand. So I will try and find something. Okay. So again, from the British Heart Foundation, a Cos Black Top. I've never come across a simple black top from them. Um, they always have such weird shaped things it's just i can't even describe it there's not really much going off but i think if i put like a statement necklace with it um we will be fine um i have sold a few cos items before i've got one cos item on there right now it's a blue dress um i should really retake photos of it because it's not in the best pictures so yeah okay Oh, also from the Bitcart Foundation, I found the... Oh, the sticker's gone on it. I don't know. Right, I found these Timberland boots in the window and I got so excited. Um, I thought they were men's, but they were not. They're actually women's. Um, so, yeah, they were women's, a women's size 6 Timberland boots. This has got a little bit of scuff on them, um, but... Like, are you kidding? They've hardly been worn. There's like a few pebbles in the gaps and that's it. They're so heavy. I didn't realise how heavy Timberland boots are. Um, so that kind of proves to me that they are genuine uh, Timberlands. Um, the, the size tag has the logo on it. The bottom of it has the logo on it. The bottom of it has the logo on it. And the shoelaces have the logo on it. And the size of the boot has the logo um, if they fit me, I would wear them, but unfortunately, I'm like a three to a four, depending on really on where I buy um, shoes from. But they are they are nice. So yeah, I bought these for I want to say uh, they was eleven ninety nine. So I paid up on these guys, but I got so excited I had to have them because I've never come across these in such good condition as well. So I was happy to pay that for them. Um, I haven't found the exact ones because they have like this lining on it um so yeah i haven't found the exact ones but when i had a quick look in the shop they recently sold for about 45 quid i thought you know what there's a quite a bit of profit in that one um so what i might do is put a starting bid on at 45 pound and see where we go with these because these are in great condition um, I don't really know how much to sell for, but I know they're like retail for. They are expensive. Okay, so I went to the charity shop near my mum's house and we got this, well, I got this. I got this Joe Brown's cardigan for £4. It isn't, it isn't my style, like I wouldn't pick it. But there is some nice embroidery on there of flowers. Flowers and a bee. There's the bee. The bee on top. Um, yeah, I just thought, you know what, for that, I'll get it. I'll try and get a, about 18 to 20 pounds on that one, on this. Um, yeah, but I'm, I was pleasantly surprised to see Joe Browns. I haven't found many Joe Brown things near me. Um, I headed over to the men's section, and this is not a man's top. It's uh, Ralph Lauren um, and <laughs> when I always think about Ralph Lauren is <laughs> so random um, when obviously you know trying to pick names for a baby and stuff well when I was pregnant trying to pick names and someone suggested to me well why don't you because we knew we were having a boy and it's like oh why don't you call him Ralph so I'm sitting there thinking I'm like so when Dean shouts me and Ralph, he will literally be shouting, Ralph, Lauren. No. <laughs> no. 
that would just be a joke. It would be a joke. And if you're wondering where we came up with the name Remy, if you've watched my other things I've mentioned him before, um, we was watching House of Cards and there is, um, I don't really know his job, but it was this really nice black looking man. Um, and he spoke some French as well, and his name was Remy. And so I said, oh, because we really couldn't think of any names. I was like, oh, what about Remy? Um, and he's like, yeah, that's a, a French footballer. And I'm like, oh, sold, done. <laughs> and I was like, I just loved it. So, yeah, Remy. So, yeah, this is the Ralph Lauren top. Um, there you go. I checked it inside the tags. It's got the, you know, the official green tags. I don't know if the fakes have these or not. I have no idea. But it seemed all legit to me. It has some supplier numbers and stuff so it seems legit and it's really nice and i don't think it's been worn but yeah this is 100 percent a woman's top found in the men's section Woo. i think it, if it would have been in the women's section it would have been like six quid okay uh, next is this chanel sunglasses case Sorry if you had headphones and that would have been really nasty, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is it. Happy about that one. Um, that actually came from my mum's house. I didn't buy that from Charity Shop. These were her sunglasses. Um, she's kept the sunglasses though. And these don't really go for much. You would, they seem to go for about anything from £10 to £20, depending on the condition, and yeah, happy about them. Okay, uh, oh, uh, this isn't to resell, but if you do come across these silver plated um, teapots, vintage teapots, these sell for £5 onwards, no, five, five to ten pounds these silver plated pots go for um the reason why i know that is because i have loads um for my wedding we're having an alice in wonderland theme party and i didn't want um didn't want pottery china pots i wanted silver plated um because well people get drunk things fall over things break these won't really break um and they will hold their value. Anyway, I picked this up for two fifty, so save some money on that. And yeah, I don't really know what's on top of it, but I'm not really that bothered about what it is. <laughs> it's just for the wedding, so really happy about that. I've got different sizes. This is a really small one. I've, I have got bigger ones as well. Um, so yeah, this next one, I got excited when I saw this. Uh, this was for a pound. Um, a Tommy little egg box I will show you it is complete let me just turn these faces around okay they haven't put them all in the right colour so that's peed me off okay these are the eggs um they are to help children with shapes so that's the hearts put it in the heart shape the square put it in ooh, put it in the square shape and then also there is Where's the yellow one? There is yellow, fit it to the yellow one. So yeah. Um, the So yeah, pick this up for a pound. I've sold this before because my little boy had this. And um, they, I, I, I was humming and hawing har, an over whether to pick this up or not. But I thought, you know what? I'm walking past money here. Um, so yeah, these seem to be selling from like five pounds to seven pounds i would probably try for seven pounds on it um so yeah i just think it's complete everything's there all the colors are there it's a good thing to pick up but i did say i want to be focusing more on clothes items so yeah um last but not least i bought something for myself um <laughs> i bought this jacket I bought it for £6. It's the next jacket in a size 12. Now, I would never pick up size 12 for myself. But when it's the, like, netted material, I always go one size up just because I do. There's no stretching it. 
and it's just a nice jacket in triumph <laughs> so yeah I can't really show you that one so yeah I just really liked it I think it's something different for six quid it probably would have been it would have been a lot more than six quid what am I talking about it would definitely have been a lot more than that amount so yeah that is everything guys um i hope you enjoyed this video um i can see everything there i should have had it at this angle before <laughs> sorry um yeah that's everything um you can message me on instagram if you want any help with anything regarding ebay i have been through it all at the moment there is going to be a special video about what i'm talking about in the near future I'm just laughing because it's so ridiculous. Anyway, that's a little bit of a do. It involves getting in trouble. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, oh, gosh, people stop messaging me while I'm filming, please. Um, yeah, so that is everything, guys. So you can message me on, on Instagram. You can message me below. I always see the messages. Um, and I'll always try and reply to you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to see the videos instantly. Um, and I hope you have a great day. I hope you have some great sales and some great finds. So thanks for watching. Bye.